the really um, exciting things about the system is the level of data that is collected about the actions of individual students. As a student goes through the curriculum, we collect every event that happens, when they watch a video, when they pause, when they rewind, when the um, instructors may be being boring, so they're going at 1.5 speed, um, what answers they give for a quiz the first time, what answer they give the second time, and if they move from wrong answer to a right answer, what did they do in the middle that helped them uh, clarify their misconception? So these kinds of uh, data are really incredibly valuable for an instructor in terms of understanding what's working about their class and what's not. Producing good feedback is a challenge to instructors, and I think it's something that we are all learning over the course of time. Um, if anything, I think that this medium, which allows you to scale the responses that you're giving, so that once you formulate a response to a particular um, air condition, you only have to do it once, and then future generations of students always get that feedback, and you don't have to repeatedly do this, which is one of the frustrations of grading when you mark the same mistake over and over and over over again. capabilities of an online platform is that we can do things like A-B testing. So A-B testing, not everyone knows what that is. It's the kind of thing that uh, organizations like Google do um, all the time, where 10% uh, of the users might be subjected to a different experience than the other 90%, and then they measure an outcome that they care about, and they see which population did better. And if it turns out that the A population did better, then all of a sudden that turns into the standard user experience for everyone. We can do the same thing here. So if an instructor, for example, um, gives a particular type of feedback, we can initially give that feedback only to 10% of the students and see if that actually gives rise to better learning outcomes. So for example, um, does seeing the instructor's face in a picture-in-picture at the bottom of the screen. Is that helpful or is it just um, distracting? I've heard people that say that it gives affect to the video and therefore it makes a connection between the instructor and the students. I've also heard people that say that it's confusing because you should be focusing on what's being written on the slides. We don't know, but now we can measure. Mm -hmm.